Okay, find this limit. Uh, X is not approaching infinity, so I can't compare terms that are adding. Uh, I can't really factor and divide anything, so I just have to try the limit. So I think, okay, what's this going to equal? Well, as X gets really, really close to 1, uh, this is going to get really close to 10 to the first, which is just 10. F prime. F prime means the slope of F. As X gets really, really close to 1, the slope of F is definitely whatever the slope of this line is. So that's going to go up 4 over 2. So that slope is 2. It's going up, so it's a positive 2. So this would become minus 3 times 2. As X gets close to 1, the Y coordinate of F is definitely getting close to 1. Minus, ouch, the arc tangent of 1. Uh, arc tangent means the, means the angle whose tangent is 1. Uh, you can actually do that on a calculator. Let's see if I can get this to work in the video here. So I can go second quit. Clear. Arc tangent means inverse tangent. So I go second. Inverse tangent, 1, enter, uh, 0.785. They said you can use three decimals, so I'm good with that. Oh, i got to make sure I'm in the right mode here. Radians, yep. Second, quit. Uh, that turns out to be pi over 4, I'm pretty sure. Pi over 4 is the angle. Uh, divide by whose tangent is 1. Yep, but you don't have to know that. 0.785 is sufficient. So I just put here 0.785. I'd be a little worried about the rounding here, so I'd probably do that on my, because you can't, it's like the final answer can be rounded to three decimals. Everything else along the way has to be not rounded. So what I would do is work out that computation now so 10 minus 6, so I'm going to do a fraction. So I do 10, subtract 6, over 1 minus. And now I have to use that value, not round it, so I can go grab it. Ah, stupid machine. Try again. So we have 10 minus, oops, clear, fraction. So 10 minus 6 all over 1 minus. And I thought I could just grab this, but maybe it won't let me. Nope. So I'm going to have to store it. So I do the arc tangent again, second. Arc tangent of 1, and then store that. Store alpha A. Now I can do the fraction 10 minus 6 divided by 1 minus alpha A. I can write that, 18.639, and I'll get credit for that. And they gave one point for that.